our aim is to find out what makes the best paper helicopter. In the paper helicopters activity, we're encouraging children to plan and organise their own fair test investigation. Drop that down. This is a nice fun activity to do. Children just love playing with the paper helicopters to start off with, but then immediately they come with their own questions saying, what if we cut the wings? What if we made them slightly longer? What if we changed the weight? Do you think if we put more paper clips on it, it'll make a difference? Yeah, because if we put more paper clips on, it would, it would go down fast. It's not the teacher leading the class into an investigation, but the children deciding their own ideas. And when they've got that ownership, they really want to try and investigate things themselves. Are you all happy with how to use a paper helicopter? Yeah! So now we're going to try and investigate what makes the best type of helicopter. What are those sorts of things that we can change? Joe. Um, well, you could change, um, you could snip a bit off the wings. So I've put length in centimetres on that post-it note. What else could we change? Um, you could add a paper clip. You could add a paper clip to add more weight onto it or take paper clips off to make less weight. But how are we going to know when it's the best? What are we going to measure? The time of the fall. How accurate it is where it lands in, on, on a square. How many spins it will do. So what we've got on the board behind us is all the things we could change in pink and all the things we could measure in yellow. What I'm going to ask you to do now is, as a group table, just choose one of those things in pink that you can change, or you are going to change, and one of those things that you decide that you're going to measure. You hold it. Um, when the class have given all their ideas of everything that they could change and all the things they could measure, then each group can decide on one post-it, one thing that they're going to change, and that post-it can then be moved down into the next category. Everything else can be moved into the category, which is things that need to be kept the same to keep it a fair test. You need to make two different helicopters so that in the end you have three helicopters, the one you started with, and two different ones that you can compare with each other. I'm going to ask three of your group to come up to the front, stand on the step, hold them out at the same height, and then drop them for you to work out which one you think is the best of your three. So, Megan, what have you changed on your three helicopters? We've changed the length of the wings. And what are you going to measure? And the time of the second time it takes to go down. Okay, so watch out for which one lands first and which one lands last. Three, two, one, drop. We can't wait. Three, two, one, drop. Once you set up this idea that children have to make only one change, they get really competitive. So yeah, just hold them up, pick them up again. To make sure that no other groups are cheating at all and so that all their hands are exactly equal heights, they're dropping them at exactly the same time. When they're spotting any other errors, when other groups drop their helicopters, they're learning about what makes a fair test. I'd like to put on a big piece of sugar paper the question that you were trying to find out. After they've done their investigation, a really simple but effective way of getting them to show their working and show their understanding is by taking a large piece of sugar paper, asking them to write their question at the top, stick on their three different designs of helicopter, maybe a ready, steady go beneath, and then score their helicopters depending on how good they think they were. First place was made of paper, second place was made of tracing paper, and third place was made of cardboard. This is a really straightforward thing for them to do. It's very quick, it's very easy, and saves them having to write up a full investigation with lots of writing in their books.